Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats, and we are doing a little special bonus day of tuna week. Now we wrapped up our week yesterday, and if you wanna know which one won the entire week, definitely check out that video. But today we have a non-tuna tuna contender. This is the Loma Linda Sustainable Plant-Based Protein Tuno Lemon Pepper Seafood Alternative, no bones about it and it's about three ounces and around $2.19. So not as expensive as some of the others. Like our most expensive tuna one was $2. This is $2.19, not bad for like a vegan kind of product. Now we actually tried about a year ago, a similar product from this company. Oh, Remember? was that the, the, the beef? Beef crumbles, I think maybe. Yes, exactly. Yes. So that one you didn't like, No. I liked. And so, here we are with this thing. Well, and we've also tried a oh, yeah. couple other tuna alternatives from Good Catch or something like that. Yes, so that was another one of those fake tuna companies. Mm -hmm. And we didn't like those. At all. We tried, I think, two of their like pa uh, pouches. Yes. I think it was pouches. Uh huh. And didn't like it. That was terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> really <But> bad. <laughs> this company, I liked it and so I mean, the other one wasn't bad. The, the, the beef, beef crumble, crumble yeah. it wasn't bad. I just didn't love it. But this, it looks a little bit like dog food, I gotta be honest, it's, but. <laughs> it doesn't look that great. It does not. But they have beautiful <laughs> packaging. They do. And so guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you, if it's worth it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up, we'd buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. Thing is though, I actually like this, but there's a big problem, which is the black pepper. So it's supposed to be tuna lemon pepper. The lemon is very just just subtle, but the pepper is bold in your face and just, I feel like when you're eating it, it just constantly just punching, man, punching you. And I just wish there was less black pepper in this. Otherwise, this would have been a thumbs up, thumbs down. All right. <clears throat> Let well, the hate <laughs> begin. <laughs> well, um, it's gonna be a two no from me dog, so it's a thumbs down. This I do not like. Now here's what I will say. I feel like the texture, while it is not entirely tuna-like, it's not bad, especially compared to that other fake tuna that we tried. My biggest issue with this is surprisingly not the tuna or the lemon, although I could definitely have more lemon because it was very, very subtle, like almost non-existent. This was weirdly sweet. There is sugar in here and you can taste it. Like this sauce that it's in, I did not enjoy because it says that it is soybean oil, sugar, lemon juice, salt, citric acid, seaweed, you know, all those little things. There's a lot of sugar in here. Like it tastes sugary, but then at the same time, it tastes like kind of peppery. It's a very weird combination. Like. I think maybe if I could try like the original flavor of the tuna, it might be good, but this flavored kind, the flavor is off. This is not correct. Like it, it's not lemon pepper at all. And it's the sweetness. I'm just wondering who okayed that because it's very bizarre. A soy boy. I guess so. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.